When we headed out of Green River this morning, we immediately met up with uh, another fellow by the name of Ralph. His GPS had died, so we told him just to join in with us, and we'll we'll pull the pull it all the way to Castledale together. Um, the day was a lot easier in terms of the riding. Uh, we didn't really encounter any hard riding. Uh, a lot of really beautiful views. And then to keep it a little fresh, we did find a couple little offshoots that we could uh, kind of explore on the bikes and get, get some more interesting things to, to go over. <laughs> Why'd you keep coming? You should have just bailed. Yeah. Just got on. After about 70, 80 miles of the day, we're in the middle of nowhere, a uh, really desolate part of the desert. And we look back in our rear view, no Ralph. What happened? So He's we gone. Turned. We turned around, we headed back, and we found him, I don't know what, half mile back on the road. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, had a flat tire. And what ended up happening is he was running the ultra heavy duty tubes and he ripped the valve stem off of the of his tube. So pretty, pretty hairy moment for him, I'm sure. He said it was a wild ride and his tire even came like partially off the rim. So I'm sure that was a hairy, hairy yeah. minute. So she bought me a whole roll of mechanics. Uh, shot nice. Alright. Right. Back tires off. Now the fun part. Good thing I got triple A. <laughs> That's right. You okay with it? You wanna do anything? We got her here. Alright. Um did he bring his beat buddy? We didn't, did we? I think so. I got I got We might need one more tire iron. Yeah. yeah. That would help. We need it where the valve stem was. So I think what has happened is found where the valve stem hole is. Yep, there it is. So, yeah. So we're putting a 21 inch tube and 18 inch tire. Always a good time. Yeah. A little, little bit much tube, but hopefully it'll, hopefully it'll fill up and do the job. So, all right, the new tube is in the tire. Got the valve stem snugged up and we're ready to air it up. That right, new tube is in, tires are reinstalled. And we are packing everything up. I can't torque it anymore. Try to limp this thing. You wanna, you wanna take that nut? About 50 miles to Castle Dale. We're actually about 50 miles outside of uh, Green River and 50 miles outside of Castle Dale. So 50 miles of nothing in either direction. Kind of a inhospitable place to break down. And then the trouble, the mechanical troubles weren't over for the day yet. We were rolling towards Castledale, kind of on the final pull of the day and probably what, 20, 30 miles out, maybe a little more. From Castledale, I reach down to pull in my clutch and I just feel a snap and the lever hits the bar and doesn't retract. Unfortunate, broke my clutch cable. So, we sit there for a minute and luckily I got a little bit of practice riding without a clutch. So we uh, just started being super hard on the gearbox and went it to Castledale. All right, so we made it to Castledale, Utah. Uh, Jake's clutch cable is out, it's gone, broken. Instead of uh, moving on to Ephraim, we're gonna have to go straight north into Salt Lake City and stay with uh, a good friend of Jake's. And uh, hopefully in the morning, it's Sunday, so hopefully tomorrow morning, Monday morning, we can find a clutch cable for Jake's bike. We're gonna run down to the Rocky Mountain ATV warehouse in Salt Lake City. Hope for the best. 
So we, uh, we loaded the bikes down and headed north for Salt Lake and had like a two and a half hour grind, basically, on just roads really fast, 65 miles an hour running the bike, about as hard as you really want to. Yeah, highway riding. Yeah, it was tough pull to get there, but. Hot, it was hot and the air was so hot it didn't even cool you down. All right, I'd say that's good. Yep. <laughs> Why'd you keep coming? You should have just bailed. I couldn't stop. You were way down there. Huh? I got kicked on the rock and stalled it. Here, we gotta just get yours down. Cause you're in my way. Switch out. You wanna uh, pick it up and slide it back? <sighs> you rock right you there. turn your key off. Yeah. Uh. Here, I can pick it up. You just get down there and keep it from sliding backwards for now. Hold on. Ready? I'm not gonna keep, okay. Good. I'll try. Yeah, that's good. All right. All right, now I think I can just turn it. Let it go. What am I stuck on? Yeah, just do it slow, do it slow. Okay. Ooh. Should have pulled this. There we go. <laughs> I goosed it in no traction. No, I think I'm alright. I think I'm good. I can just do what we did with yours. What's that? Oh yeah. It's good as long as I can keep it from going off there. <laughs> oh yeah, we're good. I got her now, I think. Yeah. Watch it, don't keep over. You want to move that rock? Nope. <laughs> yeah, I just got unlucky, got a front tire kick on that first one.
Neck Peak. Oh wow, look at that. That's cool, isn't it?